This is Dr. Michael Myers, and I'm course lead faculty for BST 322, Introduction to Biomedical Statistics at National University in San Diego. In this short video today, I'm going to show you how to do a ANOVA test in StatCrunch. So the last couple of videos we talked about doing these analyses with quantitative data. We were doing data with one sample mean, two sample mean, and today we're going to do one with three sample means. This is what we call the ANOVA or the analysis of variance. So one quick example we can do is we can look at happiness scores for three groups of men. So again we have two variables here. We have marital status, married, single, or divorced, and we have some quantitative data which is their happiness scores on a test. The question we're asking here is are married men happier than single or divorced men? Well again, our hypothesis, our null hypothesis that we're going to test is that all of the sample means are equal, right? So if there's no relationship here, then all of the sample means here should be equal, and our alternative hypothesis is that they are not. So that's what we're going to test. So StatCrunch can do this very easily. We're going to simply enter the values in the worksheet, and the software will do the test for us. So I'm going to go through that with you. So rather than watching me type in all these values, what I've done is I'll go ahead and enter this data from an Excel spreadsheet that I created. So again, we'll just click on the data, load data from file tab. And we'll go ahead and grab that file. And we'll load this into StatCrunch. Okay, and again, you can type these values in from what you saw on the happiness example. We're keeping the convention the same. Every row in our data table should be a patient or a subject in our study. We've got two different types of variables here. So here's their happiness score on the right, and on the left we have the, their status. They're married, single, or divorced. So in StatCrunch, what we can do is very easily pull out these three groups. Now, unlike with the two-sample t-test, with the ANOVA test, we don't have to go ahead and regroup them and put them into other columns. We can just click on the Stat tab go down to ANOVA, and we're going to do one way because we have one independent variable here, which is their marital status. So we click one way, the dialog box opens, and again here we're going to click on compare values in a single column because that's how we brought the data into this question. If we w wanted to compare selected columns, we could have typed the uh, three columns, but we want to keep all of our patient data together in one column so we have each patient being in one row. So we're going to click on compare values in a single column and unlike before we're going to be able to select the column for score and we're going to factor, the factor in is going to be their marital status. So unlike with the t-test, the two sample t-test where we had to split out the cells, here we can do it right in the column and get the software to calculate the result. So we'll just click on calculate and we have our results. So now we're in a different distribution, so ANOVA uses the F distribution. Here's our test statistic at 0.1217. Our p-value is 0.8859, so we're way above our 0.05 or a 5% level. The result here is that it looks like this is not significant data, so the marital status of these men doesn't appear to affect their happiness. So we know that from the p-value. We can also go and look at the F statistic. We can look this up in the table in the back of the book, and the critical value here would certainly be uh, the critical value would be much higher than our 0.1217. So again, we have a non-significant result. But you can see here that it's calculated the means for all of the groups that we have, and it's done that right in our one-column format. So again, this is a very quick way to do an ANOVA in StatCrunch.